Hi everybody and welcome to another episode of Scale Modeling with Mike Ashey. Today we're going to do a tape up review tour of Tamiya's 1 to 350 of scale USS Missouri. This kit first came out in the mid 1980s and it's not a bad kit. It's got some issues associated with, with seams and voids and it needs a little more detail. But if you take your time, you can build this up into an excellent looking model. But it's not the first 1 to 350 scale model of the Missouri. That honor goes to lifelike models from the 1960s when they issued their kit of the USS Missouri in 1 to 350 scale. So let's get to it and let's take the tour. Tamiya captured the shape of the Missouri's hull very well. The overall appearance of the superstructure is also very accurate. Molded on anchor detail on the bow can be carefully scraped off and replaced with real chain. I recommend using HO scale chain for this model. The deck inserts for the 20mm guns have nice surface detail. The openings in the deck for the inserts are a bit large and will need to be filled around the inserts perimeters. The main deck comes in three sections. The proper positioning of the decking leaves a void between the forward and mid deck sections. There is also a tiny void on the superstructure that will need to be filled. The mold punch out on the deck will also need to be either filled or covered. The deck void on the starboard side is about the same width as the port side. The seams on the forward superstructure will need to be filled as well as the 20 mm deck insert void. The stern port side deck connection is fairly tight. The mold punch outs on the upper 40 mm platforms will be covered by the quad bofer mounts. The starboard side deck connection is also fairly tight. The superstructure void will need to be filled or covered. The aft 20mm splinter, splinter shield deck insert will need to be filled around its perimeter. And the deck area around the stern fits pretty tightly into the hull. On the forward superstructure area, you can see the step created between the side insert and the deck. Some plastic will need to be added to the base of these parts to get them to sit level. The aft superstructure area looks pretty good. Here's a better view of the void on the aft superstructure neck connection between these two parts, which will need to be filled or covered. This seam should be easy to fill and sand smooth. Note the surface detail on this part. The raised hatches on these stern superstructure parts have no surface detail, so I recommend using Gold Metal Models photo etch hatches to cover them. The best way to deal with this tiny void is to cover it with half round plastic rod. These two voids can be filled with white glue after the surfaces are primed. Moving in closer, the sides of the superstructure have no detail at all except for the side inserts. Locating and drilling portholes and adding photo etch hatches will greatly increase the appearance of these superstructure sides. The 
This seam will be difficult to fill and sand smooth, so I recommend covering it. Note how tight the main deck fits against the hull. The forward smokestack base fits tightly onto the deck. The forward superstructure parts also fit tightly together. The 40 mm Beaufort platform parts and the aft smokestack also fit tightly together and sit flush with their deck locations. To close up the voids on these Sections of 20 millimeter gun inserts glue 0 0.010 inch thick strip to the sides. The forward 20 millimeter deck inserts can be fixed in the same way as the stern ones. The bow 20 mm deck inserts have a slight, need a slightly thicker strip, so use .015 inch thick strips and carefully sand them down and form fit them into place. My Missouri was painted with testers enamels in a U.S. Navy Measure 22 paint configuration. The deck blue co color covers all the horizontal areas. From the side view, you should see only navy blue on the hull sides and a gray color for the superstructure. Here you can see some of the photo wedge details. I used both gold medal models USS Missouri photo wedge sets as well as parts from Edwards Missouri photo wedge set. The 20 mm guns, the 40 mm bofers, and the twin 5 inch mounts are 3D printed parts. Gold Metal Models has exact fit main deck railings, and their catapult parts are well engineered and fit together perfectly. The 3D printed 20 mm guns are from Blue Ridge Models. The Mark 37 radars are also 3D printed parts. These parts, as well as the 40 mm and the 5 inch twin mounts, are from black cap models. They are all resin, so all you have to do is remove them from their 3D printed runners, prime them, and paint them. Hey everybody, I hope you enjoyed the review of the 1 to 350 Skill Missouri by Tamiya. It's a great kit. And if you take your time, you can really build it up into an outstanding replica of the Missouri. Have a great day and be safe.